Beautiful and unique guitar tunings, fast flowing finger style riffs, piano like approaches to playing the guitar, Yvette Young is redefining the guitar in a modern era and inspiring a new generation of guitarists to pick up the guitar. And today I'll break down four of Yvette's riffs so we can get inspired to play and write just like her. And there'll be tabs and diagrams to make everything as easy as possible for you. One of the most notable techniques that Yvette uses is finger picking, along with a range of different types of guitar tunings and one of the best ideas I can think as a gentle introduction for us to learn is the riff to the song Parachutes. And this song is in FACGCE tuning. So the idea is based around four different arpeggio riffs. This one, this one, and and that one there. And because it's a repeating pattern, it makes it relatively straightforward to learn. But where things get tricky is up here. And originally like that, I was fumbling that change. There was a, as you can hear, um, a little bit of a gap there. And it was driving me mad to try and get back and play that change cleanly. And it wasn't until I watched a video of her playing this song live that I realized that, oh, she uses her ring finger here instead. To slide up and then it's in the right place already to bring in the other fingers for the start of the repeat again. So. makes that transition much cleaner. So let's practice this exercise together so we can fully master this idea. Interrupting Steve here, if you're enjoying lessons like this then be sure to check out my newsletter. It's completely free and every Wednesday you can join hundreds of other guitarists getting a free mini lesson landing in your inbox where I go into extra details about concepts that I teach on this channel. Check out the description for a link for that. Alright, back to the video. Moving on, another classic approach to Yvette's riff writing is these kind of run-on sentence riff ideas that contain lots of hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides and open strings. A lot of my riffs end up being like super long. I call I jokingly call them run-on sentences. And one of the best examples I can think of this approach is the beautiful yet eerie sounding intro to the song Glimmer. And like I said, it has that classic how she refers to it as a run-on kind of sentence style riff when you actually listen to the thing. percent correct but you get the idea there's not a lot of repetition in there it's a lot to remember so to make things easier for us to learn to learn this concept to get used to it let's zoom in on part of this riff but for the daring amongst you that would like to learn the full riff that i just demonstrated there then there's a link for that down below in the description so this song is in a similar tuning to facgce we're in F A C G A E, and the part we're going to play well we're going to learn is this it contains a lot of those slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs and open strings. So I thought this is a great part to zoom in and focus on for you. So when I learned this idea, I didn't learn the whole thing altogether. I used an application of chunking. So for example, I could do... I 
could just keep looping that part there until I was comfortable playing with it. And then I could chunk the other part as well. And to play this one, slide up, hit that open string, index finger, hammer on with your middle finger and slide up. And then bar it across these two top strings. And then you could put the two parts together. So again, let's practice this at a slower speed so we can fully master the idea. Moving on, a lesser known technique that Yvette uses very tastefully are these little bends. And these are often sandwiched in between these kind of really angular riffs. And an excellent example of this is the intro to the song Bronco. <laughs> so the whole idea sounds something like this. back to F-A-C-G-C-E tuning. The part we're going to do is this part here. And the key here is getting these bends right. So it's a little bend here, a quarter bend, up and down fast. And this one is a bit, goes a bit longer. And you pull off afterwards too. So we'll go bit by bit, again, chunking stuff. So you could do that there. And this next part. So you're hitting the, what's this, the A and the C strings. So pinching them two together. And then fifth and seventh fret. And that's not a hammer on, is it? But you're gonna pull off afterwards. And then this next bend comes in. A bit longer. And then pull off afterwards. And then on the F, A, C, G, the G string here, second fret and pull off. You know the drill by now, let's practice this slowly together and I'll show you at full speed too. Lastly, no video about Yvette Young techniques would be complete without talking about her finger tapping technique. And for our practice riff, I want to focus on one of my favorite ones of hers for finger tapping, and that song is called Shibua. <laughs> It has this quite fast paced tricky tapping riff but when you bring it down when you slow it down it's not too difficult to master this one but it sounds something like this and there's the second part too a lot of repetition so again like we've done with the other riffs we're going to focus in zoom in laser focus on one part of this riff and that's just going to be that initial phrase here and for this one, we're changing to the most radical tuning change we've done so far. We're going to Dad Fe, which is D A D F sharp A E, and we've got a capo on the second fret. 
So for this one, um, da -da -da -da. and then you're going to hit the strings afterwards. And you can do this just by curling your fingers together like so. And then if it hammers on from nowhere, slides up and pulls off. And after that, hammer on again. And then your other hand's gonna cover. This is where we're going to start tapping. So seventh fret. I find when it gets faster, it's easier to do hammer ons like that instead. And one last time, you know the drill. Let's practice this together at a slower speed. So now you have a better idea of how to write and play like Yvette Young and hopefully I've inspired some ideas for you. The next thing you might be interested in is well, how can I get Yvette Young like tone let's say and in this video here I walk you through uh, the things that you will need to do that and the step by step process you can take to achieve Yvette Young like tone. Anyway thanks for watching really appreciate it thank you to the Patreons see you in the next video goodbye.